Hi Taurus, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, for your key to the week this week, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit the subscribe button. So, um, for your key this week, you've got the hanged man. So, waiting, patience, stillness. This is a effectively a do nothing card, right? If you've been looking for a message for someone or something to tell you, this is your message to say that this week you can take it easy. All right, now that being said, remember with the hanged man, it is a card of yes, it's you know, rest and, and stillness and all of those things, but it's also a deeply spiritual card, and what it usually speaks to is reassessment and re-evaluation of where you are at this moment in time. The other thing about this card, it can, in the, in the dysfunctional sense, it can sometimes show up as like martyrdom. So you want to be really careful this week that you're not just like, oh, well, you know, I'll just take it on the chin. I'll put myself out to make sure that everybody else is okay. Or as my acupuncturist once told me, um, to stop setting myself on fire to keep others warm. Um, that really hit home. 20, and as all of you know, 2023 was a little bit of a dicey year for me. Um, and I have to say my acupuncturist was probably one of the people that literally saved my broken self. Uh, so yeah, just something to consider, right? So for your actions and options, sheet, right? Look at that, double hit hanged man. So your actions and options is really about what you do. It's what you set into motion, what you're putting out into the world consciously. You've got a double hit of this now. So one thing that I do want you to ask yourself this week, are my actions being too self-sacrificing? I'm not saying it's, it's a wonderful thing to, you know, to put yourself underneath others to be of service. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But when it goes too far, we end up getting resentful. And actually it's very bad for us energetically and also for others because we're not giving from a place of a true open cup. All right, so this is something that you really wanna think about this week. Are you honoring yourself enough or are you being a martyr? Are you literally just, you know, putting yourself out to make sure that everybody else is okay? Now, the other way that this could also show up is on a spiritual level, this may very well be a week where you do need to think about the actions that you're taking and to be more conscious, especially like for those of you that like a little bit of a tipple or a drink, this week it could get a little bit out of hand. I'm just gonna call a spade a spade, right? The hanged man, is Neptune. Neptune is alcohol. Neptune is drugs. It's all of those mind altering substances. So if you are partial or prone to a little bit of escapism through a substance of some sort, this week I do urge you to err on the side of caution because you may get a little bit more than you bargained for. Um, I'm going to tell you a story here. I'll try to keep it succinct. When I was 17, I had my, so my two, th my, uh, my two front teeth aren't real. Um, well, most of them aren't real anyway. I, I had a bad accident when I was in primary school. And when I was 17, I had to wait until I was 17 because that's when your gums stop growing. So I got these brand new teeth. They looked wonderful. I was really happy with them. And the same night that I had that, obviously I'd just come out of like a literal anesthetic, you know, where they actually put you asleep and stuff. I was adamant that I was going to a party. I fell and I cracked one of the teeth. You see what I mean? This week, and a part of the reason that I fell is because I was drinking that night. <laughs> 17, what do you want? You know, I told you I was feral, right? So I was drinking. I'd already had like a, an anesthetic that day. Probably not a wise move. And I paid a very dear price for it. 
This week, I want you to be very conscious of how you look after your physical health and vitality. And as I say, if you're already prone to a little bit of a drink or something like that, this week you'd be very careful or just knock it on the head completely. Okay, now when it comes to, I know I can hear someone out there in the comments like, oh, well, you told me not to, to be too self-sacrificing and I want to drink this week. Well, fucking drink then, it's up to you. But just remember, I gave you the warning um, <laughs> for <laughs> your communication. <laughs> <laughs> for your communications and conversations, you've got that Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. There's a lot of really heartfelt communication happening this week. And with the Hanged Man here, potentially there's a chance here for you to open up on a conversation or in a conversation of some sort that you've really needed to, right? So this week, you could find it easier to really talk about how you felt about something. And this could go a really long way to helping you see things in a lighter hearted sort of manner, which is beautiful. It also means that in your work or your professional sphere, you might have a really profoundly either healing or spiritual experience in your work this week. Now, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, the Ace of, Pe uh, Ace of Cups is you loving what you do, like literally loving it. And with the Hanged Man, there's a possibility here that you are making something look like absolute finesse, right? Like you just make it look easy. You make it look or sound like you just have it going on, right? Now, for those of you that are employed by somebody else. Remember that Ace of Cups is similar to the Nine of Cups in a lot of ways. It can be a wish fulfilled, right? But it's the heart melting. If you've been unsure about your, your job or your career or people that you're working with, etc., this week I think you're gonna, you through, through some of the conversations that you have and actually through some introspection, I think this week you get some real clarity. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this week again, it's like you're having a really open hearted conversation with somebody, but you're seeing the work that you do from a new perspective perspective and potentially from a very spiritual perspective it's almost like you finally figure out like okay maybe I don't know what my purpose is but I understand how I'm serving the collective through my business listen I'm here to tell you once you figure that out once you figure out what you believe God or the universe or source chi Allah Buddha whatever you perceive to be the one power right um once you figure out how you are serving that the collective through what you believe your god-given divine talents are there is no better feeling in the world and as i'm saying this look i've got goosebumps right i can tell you when because i grew up very you know from a very religious family so like i was like the real black sheep right and i was like oh my god like they hate me i'm going to hell um no not really i didn't give a shit um, <laughs> and then i realized that it's all one source right and that was when it really clicked for me that i am truly serving the collective because i'm doing what my talents allow me to do right and that's why i can say it comes from a good place because i always put my heart in my work this week you're figuring this out you're figuring out how your business truly serves the collective and this is leading you to a very profound spiritual insight or maybe even experience with your business so that's beautiful for those of you that are um, retired and no longer working quite frankly do something that really feels like a spiritual pursuit this week because the chances are it will be amplified for your love and relations you've got the seven of swords so not the easiest of cards right for those of you that are uh, partnered married or in long-term commitment ooh, excuse me you've got this with the hanged man um and i'm gonna say this you you guys have been with me long enough so you know how i am most of the time it's, it's the other way around, right? But this week, I feel like there's something that you are trying to hide from a partner, and it's just because you can't be asked with the, like, the fallout of it, or the, oh, you know, I know this is gonna cause a niggle, so I'm just not gonna say anything. Um, I advise against that, because it'll fester, and at some point it will come up. 
um, open-hearted communication this week is where it's at. Now, it may very well be the thing that you're hiding from your partner is that you, you know they've asked you to do something and actually you really just don't want to do it. Remember what I said about this hanged man, this double hanged man. Don't be in that space of martyrdom. Don't be like, oh, well, you know, if I don't do this, they're gonna be oh so unhappy or they're gonna be oh so upset. Open-heartedly say to them, this is, I don't want to do this. This is not something that I agree with or want to do or I'm interested in. And, you know, I just wanna be really honest about that. And I think really that level of honesty is actually going to do more, like it will do more then you know it will do more good than you just going along with it for the sake of it and rolling your eyes and sighing every five minutes for those of you that are single and looking i think you are putting a past relationship in its rightful place this is a challenging or hard relationship that you've come out of for those of you that are single you're looking at this relationship and just really it's not even that you're reframing it you're just seeing it exactly as it is where you were effectively sort of just doing too much right where it's like you've just given and given and given to the point of depletion where it's like okay you know what no i'm just not happy here and i think when you see this this week it will give you a lot of peace for your money and materials you've got the world card love that right so this is great because you're reaching a new level in terms of your finances this week when it comes to your money your resources you're reaching a brand new level uh, do watch out for partnerships and money or family members and money because they could get a little bit crossed wired here um, what I love about this for you is that world card is a new level of resources it's also potentially seeing you discover or get clear on ways that your community or a community can enhance your earning potential when it comes to your physical health and vitality this is going to be your bones your teeth um in particular and because there's a lot of uh water here i will say watch out for things like um water retention specifically around the knees uh, now that being said because of the mix of cards it might also be a good week to uh, think about you know not just because i had one and he was brilliant um, but maybe think about going to an acupuncturist uh, and then finally when it comes to your home and environment the world card I think the world card this week sees you really building or feeling a sense of community greater than what you've felt before for a while, all right? All in all, it's fantastic. If you wanna book your personal session with me, you can do so on the link in the description box below. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.